Welcome back into the Sports Source. This segment brought to you by our friends at Madisonville Marine. The boat show is coming up the weekend of February 14th. But you can get all the great boat show rebates, discounts, and extended warranties right now. There is no better time to buy a boat than now, period. No better time. And there's no better place to buy a boat than Madisonville Marine. All the deals right now. Check them out, Highway 411 North in Madisonville. All right, back with Mark and Mike, and we're going to take a look at the games this week. As you can see, Tuesday at 9 o'clock, I hate those 9 o'clock starts, Missouri visits. Tennessee won at Columbia 87-63 earlier this year. Missouri is 11-9 overall, 2-6 in the SEC, beat Vanderbilt last night. Saturday at 4 o'clock, Florida comes calling. Tennessee won down there. Uh, Florida 12-9 overall, 4-4 four four in the SEC. Uh, they got the second gear of Kentucky last night. They hung tough and then got blown away late. Um, thoughts on Missouri and Florida the second time around? I'll start with Mike Strange. Uh, what changes from the first time to now? Well, I, I, I don't know, except that I, I look at that and I say Florida's a, a lot tougher game because I think they come closer to being able to make you slow down and play their tempo. They're playing really good. I thought they played really good defense in Gainesville against Tennessee, mm -hmm. so that's, that's, the, that's the one I watched. That was a tight game for a, for a good yeah. long while down yeah. there. Yeah. But uh, home teams are actually 27 and 29 this year, um, and Which last year they were 35 and 18. And so, yeah, road teams are winning this year that's in the SEC, and uh, so that's always a concern. Tennessee and Kentucky are probably the biggest part of that. But Correct, yeah. yeah. Um, and then you're playing M Missouri. They're, they're going to do what they do. I mean, that's what Conzo does. You're not going to see a bunch of adjustments. I could see him doubling Grant Williams uh, if he gets that ball on the, on the left block, making him go over his right shoulder, uh, using his left hand. Uh, and then Florida, like Mike said, they're, they're the better ball club, stretching us out, playing four guards. They kind of sped us up, kind of what Alabama did to us at home. They got us going, playing even faster, and took us out of our half-court half offense and not getting Grant the ball in this spot. So um, two tough games, but I think we'll be able to pull out both victories. From a, one last question here from a coaching <clears throat> standpoint, how much does a game plan change from game one to game two? Obviously, it's impacted by what happened in the first game. Uh, when you're doing scouting reports, for example, are you looking at all the way back? Are you looking at just the last couple of weeks? Are, are you paying attention more to what happened in the first game? How do you break that down as a staff looking at the second go around with some of these teams? Well, if you're watching the Missouri game, Tennessee will watch that game first. So how do we play against Missouri? How do we get Tillman in foul trouble? Um, and then because Tillman played such few minutes, you'll watch a lot of his game film, trying to figure out what he's doing well. Uh, but then you'll typically focus on those last four to six games uh, before uh, Tennessee played you. However, if you do play a team that plays uh, – that, uh, if Missouri played a team that's very different than you play – you really don't watch much of that tape. You're going to watch the teams that play more like you in preparation to, to get an idea of how they run things and what adjustments they make defensively. Mike, this team, this Tennessee team, it, it does so well on the road, but it wasn't that long ago Alabama was giving Tennessee a, yep. all it wanted Absolutely. at home. Uh, so I think it's important for Tennessee fans to once again get out there and support, which I got to say, of all the things that have impressed me about this basketball run this year, you have to put the fans, the attendance, the, you and I have talked about this, the job they do at UT with the pregame and the introductions mm -hmm. and everything, it's a real show over there at this point. You're right. Uh, the, I, the fans will do their part. It's, it's up to the Vols to uh, think about that Alabama game and what a close call that was at yeah. home. All right. Uh, very good. Mark, thank you. We'll see you back here next week as we'll be talking about ooh, the Kentucky game. <laughs> if Tennessee comes through this week unbeaten, Next Top five matchup. Yeah. College game day. College game day. All right. Uh, <coughs> later on, uh, Tennessee has handed out its uh, football assignments, it looks like, we think. Uh, we'll talk about the coaching staff and how we like those assignments. But next, we do this every year. We tie the Super Bowl, a couple questions to tie to the Super Bowl to UT basketball. It's our prop bet fiesta. Come on back.